Hi everyone. Today I'm going to have a quick look at a pair of shoes I've mentioned a few times in my other videos. This is a pair of Crockett & Jones Audley toe cap Oxfords in dark brown and peak calf from their premium hand grade range. I've also taken out a pair of Loke Aldwych, which I reviewed in a previous video, so we can do a bit of a comparison. The Crockett and Jones Audley retails for £540, whereas the Aldwych retails for £230. So you're paying well over double for the Crockett and Jones. So the question is, is it worth the extra money? As we'll discover, that isn't necessarily a straightforward question, but if it's a question you're asking yourself, hopefully you'll find the information in this video useful. First of all, let's have a closer look at the shoes. The Audley is made on the 337 last, which was first introduced in 2001. I believe it's predominantly used in the hand grade line, which is their premium range of shoes. For comparison, I believe the standard bench grade shoes cost around £400 each, but I don't own any of those, so I can't comment on how they compare with the more expensive hand grades. According to Crockett and Jones' website, the, um, this was seen as quite a progressive last when it was first released. As you can see, the, um, it has a sort of slightly chiseled toe, which is reasonably similar to the um, capital last that's used in the um, Aldwych. Um, it's also slightly elongated. Classically, Oxford shoes would have have a more rounded toe, but shoemakers have been experimenting a bit more in recent decades, and Crockett and Jones have a number of square toe lasts, most notably the 373, which has a very pronounced chiseled toe. There are certain features that you would expect to see in a shoe at this price point. The leather will be a very high-grade calf leather. Just give you a bit of a look around the shoe. You can tell the difference between the leather quality of the Audley versus the um, Aldwych just by sort of feel it, looking and feeling it. It's not as obvious as if you were comparing the Audley um, or, or even the Aldwych to a corrected grain shoe. There's definitely um, diminishing returns in terms of leather quality as you, um, you know, move up the price point. But the leather in the Audley is more supple and the creasing is notably finer. The Audley also seem to require next to no breaking in. Um, I've done a little bit of research and from what I can tell, the leather used in the hand grades is of the same or very similar quality to leather used in higher end shoes such as Edward Green and John Lobb, which are significantly more expensive. I believe that um, Edward Green's ready to wear shoes start at around 800 pounds. Um, and I've seen there's been some debate as to whether Edward Green is worth the extra money over Crockett & Jones. Um, but I, I understand in terms of the quality, it's very similar. So comparing the um, Audley with the Old Witch, the overall quality of the finishing is much higher. Um, as you can see, the um, stitching has been finished focus is there and hidden on the oddly whereas you can see the stitching is still visible on the old witch the stitching on the upper is also noticeably neater the quality of the burnishing is also excellent although um, the black hold, which isn't a great comparison. If we turn the shoe over, you can see that the Audley has the closed channel stitching. 
which means that the stitching which holds the sole to the upper end welt is hidden. You can see on the old lay it's visible. Sorry, the old witch. It also has a slightly beveled waist, which means that the sides of the midsole are narrower. It's just a small aesthetic touch that you see in higher end shoes. On the foot, as I said, the Audley was very comfortable from the first wear. What surprised me was how well it fit, notwithstanding that it's a fair bit narrower than the old witch. There is a slight V in the lacing when I wear these, but otherwise it fits like a, it fits like a glove. They also have um, very comfortable lining as well. It's just overall has a thicker feeling. I think the leather is thicker on the um, Audley versus the Old Witch. Not not by that much, but it just has. It feels like a slightly more substantial shoe. So the original question was whether the Audley is worth more than double the old witch. There's no correct answer to that because the concept of value is subjective. Clearly the oddly are objectively superior shoes in every way, but in terms of how the shoe performs, it's incremental rather than the big differences you'll find if you buy a pair of the um, old witch over a pair of cheap glued shoes made in India. The reality of the market is that you have to pay for those small incremental differences, so it's up to you to decide whether it's worth it. Um, but you are getting what you pay for in terms of materials and man hours that go into making this shoe. It's just not necessarily twice the shoe. As I said in a previous video, if I could only afford one pair of Crockett and Jones or two pairs of Lokes, then I'll buy two pairs of Lokes because for me that represents much better value and practical utility um, in a man's wardrobe. But if you have a bit more money to spend and already have a range of shoes, then this is clearly the next level for this. Well, I hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching.